Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I'm doing a daily tarot reading, checking in on the energies of the day whenever you are drawn to this reading is the correct time. Tuning in to any messages, any validations, next steps, news we can use. What do we need to know? Uh, starting with the angelic light work, her card number 43, Earth Warrior. All right. Earth Warrior. Your loving and courageous heart helps generate spiritual protection for our planet. You extend your care by educating yourself about earth supportive consumer choices and lifestyle practices and cultivating love and peace in your heart. Your generous offerings of prayers and healings benefit our planet and her extraordinary abundance of fascinating unique creatures. In your unique way, you can support our beautiful world and help hold a vibration that brings awakening to those who do not yet understand the necessity necessity for such spiritual protection. If you are concerned about how Earth can survive, release such fear now and channel your emotional energies into constructive steps forward on your path. Balance peace with courageous commitment in your heart. Trust in the wisdom and power of the Earth and the grace and love of the angels to support your life purpose. You can help to heal and support the Earth and her creatures in your own special way. Not that surprised that I got this. I was um, feeling a guided meditation at the end of this reading where we can release whatever comes up in the reading, but whatever is um, maybe bothering you or upsetting you about your own life but also in the world. Is there some situation that's upsetting you? And so at the end, we can do some healing here within and then send that loving energy out into the world. So I'm gonna do a really quick reading since we're gonna do the meditation. Uh, all right, and Power Animal Oracle card, Owl omens, pay attention to the signs. Indeed. Feel like you are receiving all sorts of messages, dreams, synchronicities, maybe knowing. I don't know. I just, I. I don't, I can't explain this, but I just know this is what I'm meant to do or um, yeah, this is um, a lot of wisdom in owl. Owl is up in a tree and stays in one spot and just observes. Yeah. There's a lot of messages coming in. I'm just going to carry on and see how they they come out in the reading. But it feels like there's just a, a lot of your guides giving these messages, these signs. All right. In the past, we've got Four of Swords healing. Healing from something that was very painful. Um, I'm getting possibly even like staying at home, finding um, a cave, a hidey hole to heal. It feels purposefully isolating to create a, a space for, I'm getting even more like cocoon transformation. You needed to heal from toxicity, 
your own and habits and patterns of codependency, trauma, bonding, um, addictions, where you, I feel like you were um, it's just what we do. You know, there, it's not like you were kind of aware on, on some level you were, but it feels like everybody's doing it everybody this is how everybody operates this so I was a part of the it's it's very interesting reading this in the past it feels like maybe that's what you're trying to do in your current energy by looking back you're trying to understand how you would participate in codependent and toxic behaviors from the vantage point, like you're judging from the vibration you're at now. If you judge too much from that high vibration, you'll go back down into the low vibration. You just didn't know. It's okay. When you knew better, you did better. Feels like you're part of that is what you're healing is being real punishing on yourself. Maybe that's coming from people. Uh, I feel like one of the toxic patterns is projecting you projecting onto others what you don't like about yourself, trying to keep it away from you, trying to make world the world good and bad, black and white, and keep anything unwanted away that's that person that person has that instead of realizing well if i'm resonating with it if i'm interacting with it then it's also some aspect of that energy is present in my energy otherwise it wouldn't be reverberating through my space so much and getting my attention okay so in current energy, we've got Queen of Cups in reverse. I feel like right now there's an overwhelm of emotions. There's so much going on in the world. Um, if you are empathic, Queen of Cups, someone really attuned to emotions. I'm getting, if you do identify as a highly sensitive person or an empath, um, you really could use some help, some guidance with separating your energy, finding your energy and letting go of others. I think you are trying to heal. You're noticing something in the world or with someone around you and you're matching that vibration of a uh, mixture of unwanted vibrations you're matching it and then you're trying to heal that energy within you like taking others energy and trying to heal it in your own space I think um, it's it feels like a, a, a bit of an overwhelm and exhaustion, emotional exhaustion. You might be reverting back to some um, toxic habits of trying not to feel the intensity, you know, that you might have some old habits of, I don't want to feel this. This is very uncomfortable to feel so such intense emotions in the world again be gentle with yourself it's not about achieving perfection you're doing the best you can so what's coming up right now are old wounds it's kind of like they're all coming up um the energies right now are just um 
they're a bit intense. Um, chaotic. Okay, so I'm getting a um, an image of holding your the vibration of who you want to be within. It's really important right now to stay very aligned within. Stay aligned with your higher self. Stay grounded. Remember that there are billions and infinite Earths. That you are, by how you tune your own energy, you are aligning with the Earth that is the most representative of your vibration. So if you would prefer an earth that is more caring, loving, expanded, more conscious, then you have to tune into that frequency yourself. And as your energy starts shifting to, so you stay in that vibration long enough that you show up in the earth that matches that frequency the best. Right now, it's like you're in this in between. You've got this vibration going within you, an alignment. It's important right now not to match the vibrations around you because then you would kind of like get off the escalator at that vibration or go back. Does that make sense? This is very quantum type of um, visual. Okay. And then in the center of your reading, your higher self is in seven of swords. There's something about that moon. So we just had a, a full moon on the 7th. It's now the 9th, March 9th, when I'm recording this. Okay, I'm getting that you're doing a lot of um, changing of timelines in the middle of the night. You might be up in the middle of the night uh, recently. You're processing a lot of intense light frequency energies that are coming in at night. Some of you are having really vivid dreams. You are also at night protected by Archangel Michael. If you request, angels, spirit guides cannot intercede on your behalf. This is a free choice world and you need to ask an ask and then a belief and shift of energy to receive. I receive, I trust, thank you. Thank you for helping me. If, so it, anyway, it does seem like you've got um, a lot of protection around you at night to help you with these shifts. You might be exhausted right now. Remember, you are an earth warrior. What's interesting is that desire to connect with the earth, to heal the earth is it feels like a mirror you're matching the earth's energy you're wanting to heal and experience the earth's the version of earth where the earth is healed and everybody on the planet is healed you have to hold that frequency within 
imagine. And the song imagine comes in. Like imagine, literally imagine if there were no wars, only peace. Imagine if there are no countries, that we didn't create these divisions and lines. Imagine if we trusted ourselves and followed our divine excitement. We moved along, along lines of synchronicity. What if we let go of all this fear and control and pain? Wow. All right. These are some big, big messages tuning into. Um, I just got a little like, these aren't big. These are... By calling them big and intense, we are setting up blocks. Oh, instead, the angels are saying, um, call it normal. We've been practicing abnormal frequencies. This is just normal. Come back to balance. Come back to normal. You're creating a new normal. Wow. Okay. Um, your challenge right now is six of wands. Having that success, believing that you already have it, that success and fulfillment, that victory. It's already happened. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stop the reading here and invite whoever is interested to a guided meditation. So um, to clear anything that's in your space and to send out some loving energy out into the world. So find a comfortable place to sit where you can find your own energy and give yourself permission to take this time for yourself and find the way to the center of your own head, between your ears, behind your eyes, bringing all your consciousness there and clearing out, just imagine using a broom and brooming out any energies that are not your own. Anything that's not your energy will feel somatically like pressure, tension, inflammation, pain. It looks, energy that's not yours is opaque, dark. Your energy is translucent. It can be any color, many colors, but it's like transparent glass, colored glass. The light shines through it. It looks like the angels are going to guide us through this reading. They're showing you a door in front of you. And just imagine reaching out to this doorknob. You're being invited by the angels to go somewhere where you feel safe. You're not really traveling anywhere outside of you. You're finding that space within. So open that door. So you can find that safe spot within. Imagine that you just walked out into a large, beautiful field. 
flowers, sunshine, there are trees lining the field. You can hear a creak in the distance where the trees are. And the sun feels so wonderful. There's some tall grass. And you're just walking around, acclimating, remembering the space. This is a space within you where you are so safe. So at home, so comfortable, so balanced, aligned, at peace. You need nothing in this space. And as you walk around, and you're touching those flowers and the plants, notice how the plants, when you touch them, you release some dark, goopy energy, and the plants accept this and relay this goopy energy down its stems to its roots, and then the earth absorbs and heals. So the more you walk around in this field, the more healed you become. The earth is showing you how to heal you and how when you heal, the earth heals. You notice as you let go of pain and discomfort and anything that's bothering you to these flowers, as you walk around, that the goop, your goopy, gloppy fear and pain and upset and staticky energy and nerves all just be is absorbed by the plants around you and as the earth heals that then more plants bloom because you are releasing your toxins and creating more space for abundance and peace Notice how you feel. Go ahead and find your way to that stream and the trees. A babbling brook, lovely sounds, and you can hear the birds. Go ahead and dip your toes into that stream and allow the water to wash away any more, any impurities that you're still holding. You can even take that water and splash it around anywhere that your body needs healing, any chakra that needs special attention. Notice that there are fairies and nymphs, little woodland creatures coming out and joining you around the creek. And there are angels. See how you healing yourself has healed this water the water that you're standing in is brighter, clear, gold, shiny, iridescent. By healing yourself, you've created a portal of healing, a powerful opening. The angels are swooping down to catch some of this beautiful golden liquid light. Where would you like these angels to carry this healing energy? Is there a person, 
a situation, something going on, a, a place on the planet that you would like to direct this energy. Remember when you think of that energy, what's what you where you would like to send this energy to not match the energy of that person or place or situation to stay in the energy of the healed water. Watch. Some of you right now are very open and receptive to messages from your guides. There's nothing that you need to do. You are not efforting to heal others. You are merely watching and allowing with your intention for them to become healed. Send appreciation to the angels, your guides, Archangel Michael, the wood nymphs, the fairies, your guides, the guardian angel. And when you're done, go ahead and wiggle your toes and your fingers. Take a nice deep breath. and open your eyes so all right that's your reading today i hope this was helpful Bling. take care Bye.